Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Arcanum. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in Tarant as we take the train to the Tarant University. Let's go. So we need to find, uh, well, there's a few things. I actually forgot about what the main quest is. The main thing I'm trying to do right now is to, um, to visit the, a demonologist. That's what we need to find the Ripper! That's a reference, by the way, by the way I said it, uh, from a Judas Priest song. Pretty awesome song. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're the Reaper in, uh, De what was the name of that, ta uh, of that town? Not Darenholm. I was gonna call it Darenholm. It's not. It's got, it's like something different. Caledon. Mmm, I think so. I believe it is Caledon. So, Adam Maxwell, a member of the Thieves Underground, has asked me for the divinations. I have that. Arthur Tyrant needs me to find proof of the ogre. Uh... On the Ogre Island, I need to go to the Ogre Island. Oh, that's right, yeah, that's the boat we needed to take that. We're probably gonna do that right now, or in this episode. Uh, once the investigation disclosed into the ownership of horror... Yeah, that's, that's gonna be another thing. Chief Anderson, uh, that's the one. Okay, so Chief Anderson has charged me with the task of finding the White Church Murderer. And that's gonna be a uh, bit of an issue. Let's see what we have over here. The Zoological Society. Hello, sir. Oh, I have things that might interest you. I think. Uh, no, this is the guy... Yeah... This is the guy that doesn't, you know, care about the things that I have that that we'd, would definitely interest him. Uh, because I came here with a bunny and now I have a pelt of uh, the steel water giant pelt. It was a bunny. He knew what was going on. Uh, that's the halls of records. Don't really need to go there. Over here is the university court. Uh, over here is the library. And over here is the university court. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know which one it is. Benjamin Grush Gershwin. May I, might I speak with you a moment? Of course. I found... A... No, no, no. I don't... Is that him? Is that him? I don't want to give him the skulls, because otherwise... I'm not going to figure out the ogre thing. Uh, may I ask you... What, what you pagan religions... What exactly is the diagram? Um... Yeah, he's he's not he's not a demonologist. Pro professor. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, so it's not the phrenologist. This is the phrenologist. Okay, yeah, I just mm. okay. Before you stands a tall, bookish man with spectacles perched on top of his head. He is oblivious to your presence as all of his attention is focused on the large tome he has opened before him. Suddenly, he, he becomes aware of your presence and looks up. Mm, what might I, might I do for you? Uh, I need information on Lanamelak. He seems overjoyed to see you. Oh, a dwarf! I get so few opportunities to study those of your type. May I examine your skull? Or your head? Uh, no, I really need to know Lanamelak. Um, we've been through this and I need some information. <laughs> Uh, he's a scientician. Hmm. Uh, he seems truly upset by your remarks. So few people understand the true advances of the sciences can offer. Yeah, that's just data collecting, really. It's you're not. That's just. That's. I mean, whatever. You're a scientist. Uh, thought you studied magic and demons. Well, yeah. I'm a scholar involved in research. Magic and science are the opposite sides of the same coin. To be truly knowledgeable, one must study a tremendous variety of things. Specialization is for insects and orcs. Uh, okay, what can you tell me of the demon then? It's very important. Yes, it is. Why do you persist in mucking about? This is serious business. Uh, yeah, I believe he's the White Church murderer. I had my suspicions. Those murderers were demonic in nature, but I never suspected Lana Malak. This is bad news indeed. Okay, why? Lananamalak is one of the few demons that has the ability to possess a living being. As such, she can move among us undetected. In days of old, human sacrifices of thousands of victims were required to satiate him. Once he was summoned, he will be with us for a long time if we do not act to stop him. Yeah, well, he was always summoned here. To what end? That is a long story. Let us simply say that the summoner is paying the penance for the summoning. He is the beast's present host and has been for the past 500 years. I bet the elf wishes he had he was possessed of a shorter lifespan now. Uh the, well, he I suppose he can't kill himself. The, but if he can't hmm, yeah. How did he how did he come to possess this elf? 
As I said, it is a long story, but I think I have, um, yeah, here it is. The Legends of Teredvnt. You can read the demon story in here, and he gives you the book. Um, I'm afraid to ask, but how do I kill it? You must stab it through the heart with a blade of Xerxes. Oh, let me guess. It's in a dungeon somewhere guarded by demons. I remember this line. <laughs> I remember this line. Not just any dungeon. The pit of fires deep within the Stonewall Mountains, forged deep within the underworld by fire demons. It is the only weapon in Arcanum that can be guaranteed to strike the demon down. If one was to try to defeat the demon with anything but the blade, it would be disastrous indeed. Well, I do hope that I'm going to need to fight the demon in a dialogue scene rather than really because I am terrible at this. Although I can give it to somebody that is not. I suppose that works. If the blade is plunged into the heart of the host, the demon will be sent back to the underworld as the unfortunate host dies. If he is killed by any other method, the demon shall be loosened for, loosed from the confines of his host and he will virtual he will be virtually unstoppable. Um Okay, so the he won't send back the demon to the underworld. It, it will be unstoppable. They will send the demon free in our world. Okay. Um, so... Where in the stone, Stonewall Mountains is the Pits of Fire? It's simple to find, really. The entrance is a bit southwest of the... Uh, no, that's not the best way. It's a bit west of... Um, here, I'll let you... I'll let, let me mark... What? Yeah. Let me mark your map. I will be... It will be simpler that way. Okay, this ought to be interesting. Um, okay, so he doesn't... Mm, okay. Uh, what sort of books I'd like to purchase? Mechanical things. I, I, I actually wouldn't. Um, so... It wasn't him. Benjamin Gershwin. That guy over there is Professor, e Professor Eakins. I did not remember that one. I... Mm, I didn't think that through, to be honest. I was thinking it wasn't the phrenologist, but then I was not realizing that it must be... The, that guy must be the phrenologist, because that's the skull, and I... Uh, whatever. Uh, so we got a book, let's see what it says. When the War of Thorns... The War? The War of Thorns ended in 1385, King Wallace IV had accomplished something there... Uh, Heretofore unimaginable, he had united the scattered countries of the central continent under his banner. Teredvunt, or as we know it now, Tarant. That's... Uh, whatever. <laughs> That's not how language works. <laughs> That's not how, how that works. I, I know it's trying to evoke how words become other words, but it's like, no... Anyway, peace reigned in Turvent for an, an unheard of 25 years until a wave of strange... That was a terrible world where only 25 years at most were, were a time of peace. Um, 25 years until a wave of strange behavior seemed to overtake the king. And that is, int interestingly, 500 years ago. So that guy, him knowing exactly what that is, it's, it's all because of this book. The king's trusted elven mage, Vincent whose real name has been lost to history. Suspe well, so we know it's not his real name. Okay, suspected demonic possession. This suspicion was borne out when the king started calling for virgin sacrifices to supply him with a steady diet of human hearts. Unbeknownst to, well, you, you, would, you would suspect that. Unbeknownst to Vincent, who now is referred to to in between inverted commas, the king had begun toying with the dark powers in a misguided attempt to make himself more youthful. Unwittingly, he had unleashed the demon Lanamalak, the professor. No, no, not the professor. The professor. The possessor. Vincent, who now is not referred to in between inverted commas, was powerful but immature and untested. Being overly sure of his abilities, he exorcised the demon himself without much preparation. The beast tore the king's body apart as it was pulled from the ho from its host. Try as he might, the mage was unable to contain it. It ran amok over the countryside, killing hundreds of the king's loyal citizens. Vincent, also without inverted quotes or inverted commas, acted without hesitation. There was only one way he knew uh, to hope to contain the beast. Or one way... He knew to hope, yeah, to contain the beast. He began pre preparations to bind it to another mortal body. 
his own. This was not an easy task, as once unleashed Lanamelak would do everything in his power to keep his freedom. Makes sense. Vincent's Gambit, now just with one inverted comma, although it's not really an inverted comma, that's a, an apostrophe. Uh, his Gambit was at most limited success. After he himself had been possessed, he was, amazingly enough, able to have a slight modicum of control over the beast. For a time, the evils of the demon seemed to be seemed to be being wrought on the on those of an evil heart but eventually vincent was to lose control of the demon the beast raged across the ki the continent killing all in his path his bloody trail finally ended in caladon however it would appear that vincent was able to gain control over the beast long enough to drag himself underground and use his magics to collapse the tunnels oh Interesting. Neither demon nor mage has been seen since. It seems that Vincent sacrificed himself in order to bring the beast back to the underworld. For that, Arcanum owes him a debt of gratitude. Were the demon to ever return to this world, those who would fight it must remember this. It is not to be killed with anything other than the Blade of Xerxes, which is buried in the Pit of Fires deep within the Stonewall Mountains. If the demon is struck down with anything but this blade, he will be unleashed upon the world, free of his human host. I think I killed Vincent when I... Did I kill him when I went down there? Or could I not attack? Well, I don't remember exactly what happened. I remember not killing him, because uh, I didn't want to break the quest. Or, But I remember musing about killing him, and <laughs> I say this and... Just, uh, but I remember talking about it, and I was like, hmm, the game is probably going to break the quest. I don't think it would have broken the quest. It would have, you know, failed the quest, but not... I think it would have been expected, anyway. Uh, so I'm here because this is where uh, Ichi Parnells is, and I'm gonna save the game before I talk to him, and we're gonna have a chat, and uh, I... Would you be interested to, uh, in the real pelt of the stilled water giant? The real pelt? That's damned am amusing! I wouldn't be at... What? It wouldn't be advisable to try to beat me at my own game. I can spot a fraud from a mile away. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. Let me see that. 2,000 coins. He's he's convinced. Yeah. By the gods, it is real. It's worth more than that. I disagree. Though it is a moot point at the best, I could only spare 2,000 coins for it. That is my final offer. Um, well, it's a deal then. Stupendous! That's a fantastic word right there, sir. This will be a great boon to my museum, because that guy's naked over there. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, n well, n not really. I think, I, uh, well, he's not naked anymore. So I lost the terrible thing that was weighing me down. Didn't mean to press O right there. Um, I lost that, which is fantastic. Uh, and uh, now we can leave. But I'm not gonna leave through... Yeah, I'm gonna leave through... Oh, actually, I shouldn't leave through here. I'll take these. I'll take those, because I can make bullets. Although, I do need salt better, which is gonna be a bit of a problem. Oh, no. Uh, well, I guess... Oh, there's the thing. Okay. So, somebody has been telling me more than once. Let's go to the Vermilion station, because we're actually kind of close to this shop, but it's not the shop that I want to go to. I've been told more than once that I can go into the Tarant station, or near the Tarant station, and there's uh, a dwarf or a woman or something. I'm not really sure. Um, that, let's see. Sell you that. And sell you these things. All fantastic. All amazing. Uh, you, you don't happen to have... Mechanical dagger. I think I have that already. Bullets. Yeah. I can get... Uh, just 20. Whatever. Uh, I just want to salt pattern, really. We're good there. Uh, well, I suppose this guy sells more bullets, but I really don't need it. But, apparently there's someone in here that I didn't find, because I came over here already. I, th I think once off camera and once on camera as well, to look for that person. But I think it is inside. It's that halfling woman. It's not a dwarf. It's a halfling. Hi. She... She has stuff for us. It is good to see you, Obadiah. Those that matter within the underground speak highly of you. What can I do for you? Well, thank you very much for telling me about her. Um, I would like to receive apprenticemanship uh, in things. No. Anything unusual I should know about, ma'am? Rumor has it that Mrs. Regina Holster... Let me get my notebook over here. That's my pen. I don't think you could hear it. Just going into... Ready to write. Uh, let's see. Uh, over on Devonshire has uh, received a special decanter of Nafa water. It is said to be of the purest batches of elven perfume created in centuries. The black market would welcome such a treasure. Um, well, it's very kind of you indeed, but let's see. Uh, so, Devonshire. I'm going to write it down so we know what's going on. 
I don't know where Devonshire is, though. Hmm. Uh, Devonshire. Uh, it's uh, Regina Halster. There it is. And there's uh, Naffa Water. So maybe I need to pick her pocket or something. Okay. And it's just, I'm doing this just for the fun, not really for the money. Uh, anything? Madame Lil keeps a particular music box on her person. Okay, that one I can do. Uh, music box. Pickpocket. I'm gonna go with a double P there. Uh, someone we know is very interested in getting a hold of it. Okay. A patron of the underground is interested in obtaining a vial of venom from the Leth Wyvern. Some say that the Zoological Society has such rarities in their store. Oh, that's interesting. Zoo. Because uh, I killed the, the wyvern already, although it might not be the only one. And having the having the poison is an interesting thing as well. Because, you know, extracting the poison, because, you know, it, it makes people lose their memories. Uh, so, let's see. Here, Mr. Fitzgerald has gotten hold of a potion of the darkest power. The underground does not feel it is safe with him and would prefer to care for themselves. Uh, so, let's see. 40. Polton. Cross. Uh, that would be Mr. Fitzgerald. There it is. Uh, Fitzgerald, actually. It's not written as I thought it was. Um, and uh, that's the a potion of the darkest power. That's an interesting way to write it down. Potion. Darkest power. Good. Uh, so, that's another one that we're going to get. Um... Where's the black market located? It's down here. Yeah, there is row. Hmm. Any new jobs? Sorry, Obadiah. The boss feels you may have too much work right now. Uh, well, thank you very much, and uh, let's get going. So, uh, I'm thinking Devonshire might actually be a place. Oh, physician brutally murdered. Oh, can you tell me about such things? I'd like to buy the newspaper. Uh, indisputably, did I say, did I really just say indisputably? Physician found brutally murdered. A partner wanted for questioning. Dr. Theo Wilford, Tarant's most highly respected physician, was found late last night in his office, apparently the victim of a brutal murder. The uh, authorities have informed us that Mr. Wilford's life was extinguished in a most gruesome manner when he was stabbed through the back with a writing quill. Those in charge of the investigation feel that the murderer is certainly a person highly skilled in the anatomy of the human form, as the killing instrument was placed in precisely the correct position to cause death. As many of our readers are aware, Mr. Wilford was recently taken on a... Uh, had recently taken on a partner, Dr. Edmund Craig, to assist with his uh, heavy patient load. The recent scandalous discovery of Dr. Craig's orcish lineage rocked the city, and the authorities are currently unable to locate him for questioning. Any information on his whereabouts should be reported as quickly as possible. Do not attempt to apprehend Dr. Craig without the assistance of the guard, as he is to be considered extremely dangerous. Uh, Mummer's Dance, both the lights and intrigues. Uh, yeah, I guess he would. Uh, so, not really sure if I'm... if these are people that exist in the world, but... Let's, let's, let's find out. Let's just go. Uh, so we need to go at least to Madame Lille's, because that's not too far away. Uh, this is the Franklin residence. We don't need that. We just need Devonshire. Devonshire way, there it is. So in Devonshire, there's Regina Walter, who... The Hal... No, not Walter. Halster. And that's where they leave already, man. Oh, that's her. Okay. Uh, she has water. Um, this is a potion. Hi. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pick her pocket. I do have one of those things, but I don't want to. Okay, she doesn't see me. Huh. I got that. I think. Maybe. Hey! I don't understand well, why we're attacking such a decent type. Because I want to read that note. Longer. Okay. It's fine. Thank you. Okay, stop that. Okay, it's good. Just want to read this. Come on. How difficult can it be? The Tarantian. The Bank of Tarant. 200 coin. Services rendered. Huh. 
what was that supposed to mean? It's not what I want. Uh, so I'm glad for that. Uh, I need Nafa water. But she doesn't say anything. And I don't think it... it oh, it's there. It's so much easier than I thought it was. Okay, you guys really need to just... It is done. It is get done. The, get the hell out. Just get the hell out. How She's can I help you? You can't, Magnus. You're just... You're the worst. And now she doesn't see me. Now she does. It's so hard to navigate. Okay. She is not looking at me. Sort of. Can you go back inside? <sighs> it's incredible. Okay. So if I go close... That's an easy... Don't look over here! J just don't look. Look that other way. Now let's go over there. Click on it. And now crawl. And she doesn't see us. And I can open this thing and get that. Easy. Easy peasy. Get out through the window. Just go, let's go and deliver this thing. Okay, so Devonshire is done. We have Madame Lille and we have the uh, Poulton Cross. I don't remember where the Poulton Cross is. I do believe... And actually, we're going to take the train. I do believe it is... Uh, on the eastern side of town, or actually on the southern southern side of town, because this is north, uh, not north. Uh, let's see. I. Oh, I need to go to the black market. Well, that's a good thing because we need to go to Madame Lila anyway. So let's go over through here, and we're going to Kensington Park, Tarantin Docks. Well, actually, the fastest way, I guess, would be the west. Uh, Garillion Bridge because that way actually we can do a few things if we come over here uh, we can go to these shops and buy some some stuff so that's also a nice thing let's mo barter sir I will get that I'll get these I'll get those as well and uh, that's good enough for me I'll also make I need to click over here first I'll also make some bullets good stuff and uh, the Molotov cocktails will come in time. Uh, was there somebody else that needed a ring or something? There was somebody that needed a, an amulet. And I, ha I think I have the amulet. So, I'll take those. Um, so, this is Madame Lille's. So, I need to go there anyway. And then we can find the uh, black market that I believe I have been to already. Uh, let's see. Madame Lille has a music box. It is a pickpocket, however. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, interesting. Okay. So no, guys, get out. It is done. Just go. It is done. Go get. It is done. Get the sheep. Okay. So I want them all turned. Okay. Yeah. And I, even then, I'm not sure. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this, but I can try. Okay. So if I stand over here, which is really nasty, but it might it's work. Done. Also, I don't have any lockpicking training, which is a bit of an issue. I do have one point. Let's see if I can bring that up. Uh, pickpocket. Oh, my God. Do I have a minus? I have a minus on pickpocketing, I think. Guys! It is done. It is done. Just stay forever away. I'm gonna need to tell them to, st to keep a distance. Okay, that's that's good news. There's a guard outside. Okay. 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 This is good news. Let's do this. There's the music box. There's things in here. I right clicked. What? Oh, I fail. I don't fail as much as you think I do. Because she was looking and I was like the best. It is done. That was the best thing. No. How exactly does that work? Are you moving? 
Okay. Nope. I'm gonna need a, a critical success there for sure. Why are you moving? Oh, because it's... yeah. I'm gonna need a critical success. So we're not gonna do it. I don't... it's fine. I am gonna try, though, and find the underground market, but I'm gonna do it off camera because we're out of time for the day, uh, and the game is taking forever to load, but it's because it's the rant, so no big deal. But anyway, that's gonna be that for right now. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Arcanum. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, uh, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>